Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to another video with Miss Laura. How do you feel today? I feel wonderful because today we have another interesting reading that we are going to do it together, okay? So let's take a look what is going to be our reading about, okay? But before to do our reading, we have a vocabulary, obviously, right? So this is the vocabulary for our reading. Please repeat after me, hurricane, hurricane, storms, storms, women, women, catastrophic, catastrophic, victims, victims. Okay, so this is our vocabulary. Okay, so let's take a look now. Our reading for today, as you can see, the title for our reading today is how hurricanes get their names. So we are going to know how these hurricanes can get those names, okay? It says, how hurricanes get their names. Have you ever wondered how hurricanes get their names? Many of the hurricanes we heard about in Canada are those that originate in the Atlantic Ocean. For some time, since 1953, it was the United States National Hurricane Center, as you can see, that had been responsible for naming these hurricanes. So the National Hurricane Center was the responsible center to name, to put a name for these hurricanes. But today, the list of hurricanes around the world are maintained and updated by a specialized agency of the United Nations called the World Meteorological Organization. As you can see, it was the National Hurricane Center in the United States, but now is the World Meteorological Organization. So let's continue here. The history of naming hurricanes is fascinating. Early on the West Indies, for, is, for instance, names of saints were used. For example, if a hurricane occurred in February 3rd, it will be called Hurricane Blaze because by the Christian calendar, because they have a calendar. February 3rd is St. Blaise Day. Every day is named after a saint in the Christian calendar. You probably know that March 17, 17 is St. Patrick's Day. Later, women's name started to be used to identify storms that resemble hurricanes. Some believe, some believe the practice began in Australia in the late 19th century. It became more common during World War II when the United States also adopted this method. Over time, however, people recognized that it was wrong to name hurricanes only after women. In, 19, in 1978, as you can see here, in 1978, both men's and women's names started to be used in altered fashion. First, on the Eastern North Pacific Storm list, and a year later, on the list for the Atlantic and the Gulf of Mexico. Okay, as you can see. There are over a dozen lists of names for the various regions around the world. For the Atlantic region, there is a list of 21 designated hurricane names for each year, which follows the alphabet. Though there are no names, there are no names beginning with the letters U, U, X, Y, or Z. Each list is recycled every, every six years, okay? There are no names with the letters Q, U, X, Y, or Z 
Because every year, every six years, every six years is recycled. Okay? If there are more than 21 hurricanes that year, later storms will be named after the letters of the Greek alphabet. So they follow this Greek alphabet. A name, a name is retired if the hurricane is especially catastrophic. This is done as a mark of respect for the victims of that hurricane who do not who do not wish to be reminded of the event six years later. Since 2010, four names had been retired, Igor, Thomas, um, Irene, and Sandy, okay? For example, these are some names, okay? These are some hurricane names, as you can see. It starts with A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, and so on, okay? But there are no names that starts, that begins with the letters as you saw, right? Q, U, X, Y, C, because there, there is, they use, right, by six years, okay? It's recycled, it's recycling the list, okay? So that is why. There are no names for there is there are no names for the hurricanes with those letters. Okay. So as you can see, this is the Greek alphabet because they follow that, right? Do you remember? Okay. And that's all about the reading. That's all about how hurricanes get their names. But we have a practice now. Okay, let's do the practice. Here we have. Okay. Here it says. Answer these questions, okay? Who, maintain, who maintains the list of hurricanes around the world? As you can see, I underline this with this color because it's here. The question it says, who maintains the list of hurricanes around the world? And it's orange, right? So who is, do you remember first was? The National Hurricane Center, right? But now, is the World Meteorological Organization. Yes, that's right. That's what I outlined there, sorry. It says the World Meteorological Organization maintains the list of hurricanes. Two, how were hurricanes named in the West Indies in earlier days? It's green, right? So let's take a look. Okay, it says here, it occurred when? On February 3rd, right? It called Hurricane Blaze because by the Christian calendar, remember they have a calendar. February 3rd is St. Blaze Day. Okay, that's what they call it that way. So it says they were named after saints. A hurricane on February 3rd will be named Hurricane Blaze since February 3rd is St. Blaze Day. Three, what is special about the Christian calendar? Uh, because every day is named for a saint, okay? Yes, here we have every day is named after a saint in the Christian calendar. Yes, they follow this calendar. Four, what was changed? No, what was changed in the practice of naming hurricanes in 1978? Oh, 1978 here. Over time, however, people recognized that it was wrong to name hurricanes only after women. In 1978, both, both men's and women's name started to be used in altered fashion, okay? So here we have, instead of using only women's name, Names, both men's and women's names started to be used in altered fashion. What happens to the name of an especially catastrophe hurricane? It is retired, as you can see here. A name is retired if the hurricane is especially catastrophe, okay? If it is like very, very catastrophe, it is called as retired. Okay, so here we have, it is retired. Okay, letter B we have, read what John says, then write a short response and make up some hurricane names. Okay, here we have, 
John says, what do you think? What do you think? There are no hurricane names beginning with U, U, X, Y, or C. Can you think of any names beginning with these letters? Okay, I have a response here, but if you have your own response, it's okay. It says the National Hurricane Center doesn't use the letters Q, U, X, Y, and Z because there aren't, there aren't enough Q names to rotate every six years. As I told you in the reading, right? They are uh, they they are recycling, right? They are recycling every six years. The list is changed, right? So there are no enough Q. U, X, Y, and Z names, okay? So they have eliminated, eliminated all these letters names, okay, from the list. So if you can find any name, any hurricane names, you can write it here, but it's kind of hard to find one because as I showed you before in the PPT, the common ones are, for example, Alana, Christopher, I don't know. Also, Karen is a name of a hurricane, no? Dorothy, there are many, but they eliminated with Q, U, X, Y, and Z. Okay, so that is our activity about for today. We already did it, kids. We did it together. Great job. Okay, so you can complete and then you will send. But there is a homework here, right? After you finish doing this activity, Okay, I recommend you to underline this with these colors so any colors that you want. So in that way, it's easy for you to recognize and answer the questions, okay? After you finish this, there is a homework. You're going to write five sentences using the word from the vocabulary, how here you can get their names. Wait, miss, where is that? Where is that vocabulary? Here, don't worry, it's here, okay? How many sentences you're going to write? Yes, five, because we have five words for our vocabulary, okay? So that is all for, uh, for the activity of today. I hope you like about this amazing reading uh, of how hurricanes get their names, okay? So that is all, see you next class, see you in the next videos, goodbye.